Jyoti Kheer. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with copy file action. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to work with copy file using path action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of copy file using path action is to copy a file within OneDrive by using path. Now, if you observe the parameters for copy file action and copy file using path action looks similar. But the difference is that you can see only the file path where the first parameter we are going to get it in copy file using path, whereas in copy file action, we are having file as a parameter. Now, the file path, I'm going to give it to copy a file from the particular location to destination file path, right? What is our file path over here? I'm going to select a file over here, that is root. And then I'm going to select the Power Automate desktop in my folder. And then I'm going to select some other file. Now, if you see part one, introduction to RPA is the document which I'm having in OneDrive that is in Power Automate desktop folder. I'm going to select it. And then the destination file path is the second parameter where we are going to be copy the file from the source file path to destination file path. Over here, I'm going to give it a slash destination folder slash. I'm going to give only rpa.docx. Okay. If you observe the file name in the source, I'm having it as in part one introduction to rpa.docx. But when it is coming to the destination path, I'm going to copy with the name of after renaming as rpa.docx. All right. Now, overwrite is the third parameter which we have. If the file is already exists with the same name that is rpa.docx in the destination file path, then in that case, I'm having three options. One is omit, true, and false. Now, I'm going to make it as true to override the existing file if there is any. All right. Now, if you see the advanced parameter, I'm having only timeout. All right. Let me click on save. Now, let me open OneDrive. In my destination folder, I don't have rpa.docx. Once I will run this desktop flow, a file will be copied from source file to destination folder with the name of rpa.docx. Before going to run this, that I'm going to disable this action that is copy file. And then let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now it is trying to copy a file from source to destination by using copy file using path action. The desktop flow has executed successfully. Let me refresh the OneDrive. Now, if you see, rpa.docx has copied successfully by path. All right. Now, let me go back to the desktop flow over here. If you see, copy file using path having a variable produced that is copy drive file by path response in the flow variable that is available. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see, the properties of the copy drive file by path response, you are having ID, name of the file, name, no extension, display name, and the path size of the file, media type, ease folder, which are all the properties are same for the other actions. All right, let me click on close. Now, once again, let's double click on the copy file using path. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to change the file path using get file metadata. Now, if you see the file path, I have given it over here in the static way. Now, I don't want to do like this. If you see in the information button, this is the unique path of the file. Now, this unique path, where we can get it? If you observe in our previous tutorial, we have seen how to get the metadata by using get file metadata action. In that get file metadata action, I'm having path, right? I'm going to use the same path over here, which is coming as an output from the get file metadata, that is get file metadata response dot path. All right. I'm going to select the variable over here, file path in the copy file using path. And then I'm going to select the flow variable that is get file metadata response. And then if you see the path, I'm having it as a property, I'm going to select that. And then the remaining parameters, I'm going to keep it as is. But to make you understand, I'm going to give it rpa2.docx in the destination file path. All right, let me click on save. And now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. 
as a first step it is trying to get the metadata of a particular file by using get file metadata and then it is trying to copy a file by using path into the particular destination folder using the action that is copy file using path action now the desktop flow has executed successfully now let me refresh the destination folder once which is available in onedrive now if you see over here rpa2.docx has copied successfully from source to destination all right i hope you understand how to work with copy file using path action as part of this tutorial